Take you to Jacksonville, where we are learning details about the remains found that may be that of missing toddler Lonzi Barton. We're going to take a listen in. They just started. Representatives from all over the southeast, really, that came to help us uh, to do that. We scaled back that large-scale search on August 2nd of last year. But I want to make the point today that our investigative team continued to work this case and have worked it for the last 142 days nonstop. Uh, we are here today to tell you that we strongly believe that we have uh, found the remains of Lonzie Barton in, in a wooded area nearby here. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over for additional details to, to, uh, to Chief Tom Hackman. Tom? Thanks, Chair. Um, you know, as Sheriff Williams outlined, uh, our investigative efforts have, uh, have been ongoing since day one that I stood up and uh, presented this case to the media and asked for the public's help. Um, many a sleepless nights have gone on from the investigators in the case to the state attorneys involved with this to members of the public and our goal from the beginning was to find Lonzi. Unfortunately it turned pretty obvious pretty quickly that uh, that wasn't going to happen with him being alive but that didn't didn't stop our efforts and didn't uh, didn't stop the interest of the public. It is a uh, it is a very sad day that we find um, these these remains that we believe to be Lonzi's but it's the first step in justice um, I mentioned I mentioned several times that um, that little boy didn't need to be discarded like a piece of trash and today we are able to take what we believe to be him from from being disposed just like that in the hopes that he can spend his eternity in somewhere that's peaceful and not somewhere that is um, basically a garbage heap and uh, that's just wrong it is um this case isn't over you know we've got a lot of steps but there's a lot of legalities uh, some, some legalities about how we got out here today uh, we have worked with uh, Ruben Ebron and his attorneys at pretty much every step of the way um, and again specifics as we discussed this many times I, I've not been able to give you specifics um, and the lack of my specificity has been because I, I don't want to jeopardize the, the judicial process of this case. Um, the justice is, um, is sometimes slow and sometimes piece by piece. Um, and t today is, is just another piece of the justice that we have. Um, finding the body is a very, very large piece of that. Um, this community, I can tell you from comments that, uh, that I have uh, received, since the beginning of this, this fam this this family of this community is really Lonzi's family, and um, and they love him. The investigative team, I can tell you, they they take it uh, with them to bed every night. Today's today's actions, today's recoveries, and what led us here is again, it's just a piece of that justice. Um, I can certainly uh, let you know that that. Our efforts aren't through. Today is not the end. Today is just another step. It's most important that this community is aware that uh, that the efforts, the investigative efforts, the decisions that were made in this case uh, by the sheriff's office and working with the state attorney's office were were the goal of taking that child from from places unknown today to a specific place and from that specific place to a, to a location of peace. So. Um, as this continues, just know that uh, that our efforts will still continue until uh, this can be fully completed. Thank you. You know, we always we have a great, really working relationship here in Northeast Florida with all of our, you know, state, local, and federal partners, and uh, we have a, a great day-to-day -day working relationship with our state attorney, uh, Angela Corey, who's been a big part of this investigation from the very beginning. So, with that, I'm going to invite Angela to the podium. Thank you, Sheriff. Good afternoon, and thank you for being here. And uh, Anne and the Justice Coalition, thank you for always being around to help us represent our victims. Um, working with law enforcement is critical, and that's why this case illustrates it better than possibly any other case that we've dealt with lately. If you cannot work with law enforcement, you cannot attempt to seek justice as it should be on a case-by-case -case basis. So that's been the parameters of this case, working with law enforcement from the beginning, working to find Lonzi's body has been of paramount importance to us. And as 
Tom just said, this is one piece in an ongoing quest for justice for Lonzi. And so we may not be able to give you all of the answers today. We do believe that the remains found are Lonzi Barton. So that starts another whole process, as you well know, with our medical examiner, who also is helping us with this case. And we will have more answers in the coming weeks. However, we believe that what got us to this point today was critical and it was necessary. And it's one of the things that we do daily in the criminal justice system is work to seek a resolution of a case that helps us get what's necessary. All right, we've been watching a live press conference from Jacksonville where, again, deputies believe they have found the remains of missing toddler Lonzi Barton. We are staying on top of this breaking news story, and we will bring you any updates right here on air and on ClickOrlando.com, powered by News 6.